Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, the Gaming Pig, here with another video. It's been about two months since my last video, that which is crazy, but I am returning. I'll have more info on that soon, but I wanted to get a few videos out right off the bat. Um, I got this really cool package here, which we're going to take a look at in just a second, um, but I the, the reason for the break has simply been school and getting back into that. That's all. I, I'm just super busy, really, at the beginning of the school, and end winter time is usually when I have a lot more free time. So, videos will be returning more frequently in the future. I'll give you guys more info on that soon, though. But let's unbox this. So, here I have, um, now I'm not going to show it because there's a lot of um, address stuff on it, but um, here I have the Toy Freddy re-release. So, you remember all these Wave 1 plushies? Toy Freddy plushie re-release, I suppose, to be more specific. But you know all these um, Wave 1 plushies that have been slowly re-releasing here and there? Well, Toy Freddy is one of them. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he's the rarest plushie in, F in FNAF. I might be wrong about that. I haven't collected plushies in a while. I haven't bought any of the Halloween ones or the Security Breach ones because I'm kind of mixed on those. So, yeah, but I want to give this a try because this is a plushie that's been so rare for so long. And... It is kind of like the older style plushies that I personally like most. So, without further ado, let's take a look at him. Oh boy. Here he is, guys. We have our own Toy Freddy. This is insane. Oh my gosh, this is cool. So, let's get rid of all this and let's. Um, there's just a piece of tape I gotta cut off on this. Um, Guy, but if you do want to see more unboxings, let me know. I will probably do more. I, I, I was going to try and get the Curse of Judbear uh, action figures, but they're actually um, not available on GameStop at the moment, or they weren't when I tried to buy them. So I just went with this guy and a few other things. But, anywho. Um, let's open this guy up. So here he is, Toy Freddy. Um, I got this is so crazy. Um, so here's Toy Freddy, and here's Normal Freddy, first of all, for a comparison. Um, this guy is really, really cool looking, honestly. Um, he's, a, he's a little plushy. Um, even compared to Normal Freddy, I don't know. I think actually, they're about the same size, but this guy just feels little to me. Um, but here he is. So this plushie's been out for a while, so you've probably seen reviews on this and stuff. Um, but uh, I'm going to re-review it because it's out now, so why not, um, right? And also I don't have the original, so I wanted to make a video about this because it's so crazy. Um, so here is the tag. Um, you can see right there it's just FNAF 2. And that's how it is for all the plushies um, in Wave 1, and, on, and I believe Security Breach may have done that too, where they have the same tag. Um... And you can see it just says Five Minutes of Freddy's Plushies, and it's just the FNAF 1 office on the back then. And it says Plushies on there as well. On the inside, not much to go over. Um, yeah, not much, not too much of interest. This is a, this is a very basic um, tag. It does have a 2021 copyright date. I don't know if you can see that. Also, it's going to be inverted probably because of YouTube. But... Yeah, there it is. So it is It is a new plushie. That, so if you have the old plushie and you're super upset because, you know, the, the old one's going to lose value, I don't think so. I still think people are going to really try to get the original still just because there are slight differences here and there. Um, I don't notice them because I don't have the original. I think this guy looks honestly just like what I was expecting him to. Um, maybe just a little bit smaller. I don't know. I think the shape of mine's just a little bit... Um, different, but I like this guy a ton. Um, so here I have Toy Foxy or uh, Funtime Foxy from FNAF 2, like the unwithered um, mangle. And um, yeah, I'd say they fit together very well, especially considering these are Wave 1 FNAF 2 plushies. So that's something that doesn't usually happen. But um, I think this guy stacks up pretty well. So. <clears throat> As you can see here, he's got a darker brown than normal Freddy right here, which is 
actually, I think this is more accurate to the Help Wanted look for Toy Freddy, I think. Um, so that's pretty good. He's got a smaller top hat um, than normal Freddy. They're a little bit different shaped, which I think is really a good touch that they added because Toy Freddy's top hat is a lot different. Um, the normal Freddy's, he's got the stripe there. Um, how do I feel? This is made out of a better material than the original hat. I feel like this one feels softer. Um, but this one probably keeps the hat more straight, whereas this one's kind of all, like, messed up on in front here. Just with packaging and stuff. Um, and then his face is, is honestly pretty wonky looking at it in the camera. Uh, I got a wonky one, I do have to say. But he looks super cute. Um... And th that's the thing with Funko plushies. They're not all the same. They're not all perfect. They each have their own little weird quirk about them. And I, I think the quality was always best on the FNAF or the Wave 1 plushies, though. Like, now there, there's a lot more variety. You could get a really weird-shaped um, Toy Freddy, for all you know. Um, but I think this looks really cool. Um, okay, going on to the rest of the body. It's a basic Freddy plush. That, that's what it is. It's got two buttons. Normal Freddy does not have that. Um, his bow tie is about, it's made of, I think, the same material. This, the, the Toy Freddy feels a little bit different. Um, and as for the plushy material itself, I am not noticing any major differences. I think this is a little bit different than this one. This one feels a little bit smoother. Or this one feels more plush. Um, but I, I could just be making that up. I don't know. Um, and his ears look different. I don't think so. I don't know. Toy Freddy's ears here look a little bit smaller than normal Freddy right here. I think. So that's cool if they change that because that adds more accuracy to this plushie as well. Because this is not the most accurate plush, but it kind of screams um, Help Wanted Toy Freddy right here, which I think is is kind of cool. Um, of course, it's not the most accurate to FNAF 2, but it is what it is. Um, he's got his uh, polka dots right here, his uh, cheeks, whatever they're called, um, right there. And that's really it with this plushie. It's just cool to have a plushie that was previously rare. Um, now, here... Um, for a, a really good price on GameStop. The shipping on this guy was really weird. Um, it said that he had shipped, then for some reason we had to be home to sign this package in order to get him, but we didn't. So it was a whole mess, but I finally have him. Um, and he looks really cool. He's just what I was expecting. Um, you, this guy's been out for um, a f like a few weeks now, this specific re-release. Um, so, if you haven't got Toy Freddy yet, you have your chance, and I don't know how long this guy's gonna stay up, because the thing with plushies is people have such high, like, oh yeah, this one's the rarest of them all, you can sell this for so much on, you know, eBay or whatever, um, Mercari, all that stuff, um, that kind of re-releasing almost messes with that and drops the value of plushies a lot. <clears throat> so I don't know if this plushie is gonna drop the value because of this re-release. I don't I don't mind personally. I think this is I like the re-releases. I still gotta get a re-release Bonnie plushie. Then I'll have a full set of the normal FNAF um, one sets of non-exclusives because I'm not getting Golden Freddy or Shadow Freddy anytime soon. But here here we have it. Here's Toy Freddy re-release. Really strange, but a really good looking plushie holds up, I think, to its original, and it's just a, it's a good plush. Um, uh, well made, and if you haven't gotten it yet, you can get this guy on GameStop.com. Um, I think he's exclusive to that, um, and he's really cheap, so you might want to get him now before he drops from GameStop and then he's rare again. So, I like this plushie a ton. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. I'll be returning for content in the near future with all this crazy security breach stuff and all the, all the stuff that I've missed. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.